In this video, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to hardwire your Mac computers that are running Ableton Live and ProPresenter and lighting software for automation in worship. At our church, for a long time, we would just set up our MIDI network over Wi-Fi, but it got to the point where I wanted to ensure that we didn't have any hiccups, even though Wi-Fi performed really well for us. I just wanted to have that peace of mind that comes with having a hardwired connection between my laptop running Ableton Live on stage and my laptop running ProPresenter and LightKey in our tech booth. So we happen to have a long ethernet cable. I think it's a spool of at least a couple hundred feet worth of Cat5 or Cat6 cable. And we were using it for a different purpose, but we stopped using it for that purpose. And now we had it available uh, to actually use to network these computers so we could have a hot hardwired connection. So on my laptop on stage, what we do is we have a dongle that goes from USB-C to Ethernet from my MacBook Pro and then that Ethernet cable goes all the way back to our tech booth uh, into the dongle there's so many dongles with these Macs into the dongle for the Mac running ProPresenter and LightKey and when it comes to the hardware portion of this setup that's it you just need to have that cable going from one laptop to another and have the appropriate uh, dongles and adapters to, to make that connection possible. If you needed to connect multiple computers, you could use an ethernet hub. We do have one of those. We're not really utilizing it for anything yet, but we may uh, do that if we want to add more computers to this automation system. But all we have it doing is going from our Ableton Cube computer to our computer in the tech booth. And what we do on both of these computers, which I have up and running right now for you to see what's going on, what I do is I turn the Wi-Fi off on these computers. We don't need any internet connections or anything like that on these computers. There's no reason this wouldn't work if you had internet supplied to your hardwired ethernet network, the internet aspect of it would work fine. But for us, we're just creating a local area network that doesn't require any internet. So I turn Wi-Fi off on both computers. Um, and then you can go into your uh, Wi-Fi preferences here, your network preferences on your Mac, and just make sure that it's selected uh, on the, the LAN uh, ethernet port here. Um, it's gonna say self-assigned IP. I think this is because we don't have any internet going to this. It's really just going from computer to computer. And sometimes if it's not working properly, I'll go into advanced settings and I'll hit the renew uh, DHCP lease. And that usually will troubleshoot any connectivity issues between the computers. Then you can exit out of Wi-Fi preferences and go to the audio MIDI setup app, go to your MIDI studio hit the network button here. And this is where we have all of our MIDI network sessions. So uh, usually we're just using three sessions. We have one for light key, our lighting automation, one for ProPresenter automation, and one for our uh, re Ableton Live remote uh, project that we have. We also have one set up if we wanna do some main stage automation, but we don't really do that that regularly. But all I do, this is on my Ableton computer right now. This is what you're seeing. I select the uh, light key session and then down here, you'll see that it's detecting my media computer sessions. So I'll go down here, hit like key, and I'll press connect. Um, and that's good to go. Now I'll go to my ProPresenter computer. I'll hit uh, media computer ProPresenter. I'll hit connect and that's in there as well. That's live. And then I'll go to a remote session as well um, under media computer and I'll connect that. And now that is also a participant. So now these computers are talking to each other over the hardwired ethernet connection. It's super reliable. Obviously there's no latency at all. It's pretty much just instant and it's been working really, really well uh, for our situation. Sometimes I've found that with especially the wireless network uh, sessions, the, the Mac audio MIDI setup app can kind of glitch once in a while. It's never done it to us in the middle of a service, but we've had it happen like during rehearsal. So that was part of the reason why I wanted to switch to this setup. Uh, so now you can see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and press play here at the beginning of The Lion and the Lamb, and I'm going to select the right playlist here within ProPresenter. So watch what happens when I press play at the beginning of our first uh, song here. It blacks out the lights here at the beginning of the service, and then it's also gonna call up all the right uh, backgrounds and lyrics here in ProPresenter. Presenter. Intro. 
So you get the point. I've shared with you guys a lot of videos on my Ableton Live setup and we'll link some videos here so you can get to those and check out what this actually looks like within a worship service. But setting this up with a hardwired ethernet connection is really simple and it will just increase the reliability that you have on your automation rig. If you wanna learn how to use Ableton Live in your worship ministry, then check out my free Ableton Live Masterclass. It's gonna walk you through my whole seven step process for uh, running a click and tracks with Ableton as well as automating lyrics and lighting and more with Ableton Live, which I believe is the best software uh, for running tracks in worship. So just click the link in the description of this video to learn more. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and share it with your friends in ministry. You can check out some related videos right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry.